hello, there he is. There's the man. Are you knocking one out? Yeah. <laughs> like one Got Phil, Matt over there in the red, Jason. We're just uh, contemplating where we're headed. Jason says his map reading skills are uh, up to par. So in the event of a whiteout, it was a joke on the way down today, but I think it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Snow has stopped. There's our intrepid explorers. <laughs> right, leader, which way? Uh, uh, that way. That way. <laughs> that way. <laughs> Go. What a difference to the weather. Snow, sleet, hail, and now sun. Look at that. <laughs> we walked from over there. Not far on the mileage, but the uh, the ground is hard. It's hard work. A little bit of fatigue now. There's the man himself in his MSL hubba. <laughs> Phil's in his Fango Spirit 200. Nice little tent. Paid far too much money for it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where we pick for the evening. You've got Matt there and his Banshee. Yeah, look, the unsocial one facing the wrong way, but there we go. Can't win them all. Uh, very wet underfoot. This was the flattest ground that we could really find to pitch all three tents together. There was only one other area, but that was too near the beginning of our walk. So we've come from right over there and we've trekked all the way across, really. And it's all, you know, sort of this sort of high tussocks of grass, which are difficult to navigate through. You can see our little setup there. I'm sporting the Force 10 tent. And it's, uh, it's quite big. It's got a nice big porch on it. And it will sleep three at a push, but it's still light at, I think, 1.8 kilos. So it's just snowing a minute ago, but it hasn't settled, only a little tiny bit. We've got a water source there and we've seen about four people in total throughout the whole day by ourselves so it's been really nice uh, feels gobbling nuts i think <laughs> so we uh, we made camp as you saw it's now saturday morning and uh no sooner had we got the tents up had a bit of dinner. The, uh, the sleet came down pretty good, pretty hard. So we all sort of uh, hid in our tents and um, it didn't really stop the weather. So we all ended up just chilling out. I think I was in my, in my pit by, I think it was quarter past six. And um, I did fall asleep. There's the four tents. We're having a leisurely breakfast. It's about half past seven in the morning. I've been up since about five. Um, packed away a few things, done a bit of admin. Clean myself up. And as uh, best I can, you know. And yeah, a bit of breakfast on the go. And then we'll be off. I think we're gonna do about 10 kilometers today. Uh, I'm not sure how many we did yesterday. It felt about, oh, probably about three to four miles which isn't doesn't sound like a lot but when you think this is the best ground that we found on 
on the whole walk. And then you compare it to what we've been walking through. It's slow. Getting a bit chilled, because I haven't got a main jacket on. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Morning. Uh, a very attractive hat. One of these sort of snooty things. And this 15 pound, yes, 15 pound down jacket from Costco, which has uh, done me proud yesterday. Today, so that's me. I haven't got anything on under that, it's just a little sort of face there, nothing too drastic. So I'm gonna go and put my big jacket on now. Um, trouser wise, I've got these Crag Hopper winter lined, and underneath some very sexy green thermals and the North Face boots, which you've seen before. So I'm gonna to return to camp. see what the boys are up to. Oh, hello, there he is. There's the man. Are you knocking one out? Yeah. <laughs> Second one this morning. Oh, good man. <laughs> so there we go. That's what Phil's been doing. Right. See the boys We're right round there. We've only walked about a K uh, from over where Matt's coming from, right over the other side of there. And then yesterday we came all the way along there and along. Right, so we've just climbed from all the way over there all the way along that that ridge and we camped on the other side of sort of there right where that dot bit is um, it's taken us from about I think less than 10 it's about midday I think so wind might pick up a bit let's go right to the very top though Matt Enjoyed his walk up though, Matt, didn't you? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're now about one, one o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, we parked. Where do we park? Somewhere over there originally. It's sort of Saturday afternoon. So we're sort of the head of our schedule, head of our walk. Uh, coming back down from, let's have a look. Cosden, Cosden Hill. And we parked over there. So we're thinking we could 
we could actually walk back to the car now and call it a day. Right, well, we've had our lunch and, um, well, today Saturday. We've decided we've done really well on the walk-in and um, the car is that silver one. So we were going to camp. Uh, I think the plan was to camp somewhere over just over that brow. But the problem is it's, it's, it's pointless. We're 30 minutes from the pub at that point. We might as well just call it a day. I mean, we're just camping for the sake of it. And then what we're going to do, get up and walk to the, the car in the morning. So, uh, and we're all a bit knackered. Uh, we've done well. we pushed through. And um, here we are, and I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope it's been of some interest to you, and give you an idea of what the Dartmoor landscape is like. It is beautiful. But I can tell you, you do get four seasons in one day here. Snow, wind, rain, sun. We've seen it all, but we've been really, really lucky. So, there you go. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.